Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back here at Mosquito Lake one more time and it is yet another rainy day and the weather really does determine much of how you fish here, especially if you're after particular things, say for instance if you're out on a boat. Now if you're out on a boat and you're trolling you're going to need certain types of lures that seem to be more popular in the rain. Now I'm going to go ahead and get in the boat guys and see... Ah, shoot. Looks like my ticket ran out. <laughs> I'm going to get in the boat, buy a ticket, because my ticket ran out. Now usually it's more cost effective to get five days especially if you're just starting out but I'm just gonna get a two day because as soon as I'm done here I'm going back to the winding rivulet and we're gonna do a quick overview there but we're gonna get back on this boat as we were trying before we're gonna pull our butts out here in the rain because just because it's raining doesn't mean the fish aren't biting, I tell you. Alright, let's go ahead and kill that. Alright, now I am going to go ahead and get both of my best rods out here for spin casting. Let's see, no, let's put, let's put this one here, I guess doesn't really matter which one now for my first one this is not my heaviest rod but we do have pretty good line on here it's about 16 pound line it's about a 15 pound rod everything's it can handle it can handle pretty good and I tell you for this kind of weather one of the best lures to use guys is this one right here this is the hunter 3-010 it's about seven grams and there's another one that's a little bit bigger you can also try but we're going to use that one here since this is a little bit earlier lake and we'll go ahead and toss that out I don't know what it is about this, but this seems to do much better in this kind of weather. And for my second rod, normally I'd be using this if it were sunny, and it doesn't do too bad on, on rainy days either. It's another Hunter, it's the blue one. It doesn't do too bad, like I just said, but I tell you, there's another one that does a little bit better than that. And that is this one here, and I'm sure you've seen me showcase this one before, the Karuna vico and it's 8.04 grams but the 8 gram 8 gram dash 0112 this one's for some reason i don't know what it is really goes for the chubs and the perch especially on rainy days so if you want to catch some chubs and get some cash this is the one to use we're going to go ahead and set that up right there. And we're going to, have to do something about our comfort level because our comfort level is in the toilet. Alright, let's see. What do we got here to eat and drink? Ah, that should help. And I'm going to go ahead and drink what's left of my coffee. That should give me a little boost of energy too which I might need anyway let's go ahead get this thing going now it's getting close to night time so we're gonna go straight down the middle and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right over the witch's hole which is this deep area here and then we're gonna go over I think it's called the dragon's eye right here Let's see if anything's interested in biting right over here
And usually for that, what I might do is I might stop it for a minute. Sometimes stopping it gets them interested. And starting it up. Here we go. Told you. And I bet you we got us a perch here, but it doesn't usually take too long. These guys really like this lure. Uh, nothing really big. What's nice about these lures is you don't have to have a huge overpowered rod. You can start using these fairly early on. But usually what I like to do is I like to go down through the middle then I like to go skirt the edges like that and then go back to the middle again and then go from the opposite side just like that that way you get everything covered here we go again I'm telling you this is a magic lure I don't know what it is about it you will get a lot of perch and you'll get a lot of chubs on this lake particularly the the perch really like it here all right let's get going again and occasionally the you'll get some eyed and some asp Especially out in these deeper waters. And even the pike really go for it. Now once I get to the edge here, I'm going to start making a left turn. So we can skirt the outer edge of this little lake. I don't know why it is, but sometimes when you start up a trolling mode, you get a little bit of higher speed. Now, definitely be careful of the grass. You can get a snag. And that's not good. But you get pretty close. Just like that. See? A lot of times you'll have those pike right on the edge of that grass since they're ambush predators. Yeah, the only got problem is, guys, it's getting so dark. We may have to come back when it gets a little lighter for you to be able to see better. I'm not saying they won't bite, but they don't bite as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get through the night. We will be back in just a minute. And see how we do in the daytime. It's night time. We are, are getting a little bit of activity here. I do have something on this first lure. I was kind of surprised. thought we were going to have to pretty much wait until morning, but we got us a nice chub. Yeah, you will get some bites. You just won't get as many as you will in the daytime. It is, like I said, a lot harder for them to see. And a lot harder for you to see, because this is with my flashlight, believe it or not. I mean, that's as bright as it's going to get. And this is about the darkest part of the night here. The only good thing is the nights here are pretty short. 
but I'm going to tootle around here. I don't know if I'll get anything more, but if I do, I'll bring you back, guys. And yep, we did get something else. This is unusual. Usually, I don't get this many bites at night time, but we're not doing too bad. I mean, there's nothing really huge. But we are definitely getting some chub action. But I'll tell you what we might do while we're here until it gets a little bit more closer to daylight. Let me throw this thing out. And we might head over to the witch's hole. Which is right over here. It's one of the deeper points of the lake. So let me pull that. I just want to be sure I'm going the right way. Because you got to, I've got to make sure I'm right over it. Almost there. All right, we're going to stop right here. Doesn't look like any, well, looks like we might have something on this one. Thought I'd go ahead and check before I. Got us a little perch on there. We'll throw this back out again. Just have everything at the ready. But anyway, let me show you this, guys. Let's go ahead and get our palmer rod out. Now we're going to change baits here. Actually, we're going to change quite a few things. We're going to take the hook down, size down to about a 14. If I don't have a 14, a 16 will work, but I do have a 14. Let's use the classic, it's a little better. And I'm going to put... Uh, a maggot on here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of night fishing. Right out here. Or bottom fishing. Now, Dula has done this before live stream, and I was going to give this a try while I was out here. But the gist of it is, is he just basically need to throw your line out, reel it in until you just see a little bit of a line there. And you wait for it to move. Now, when he did this, he was catching some decent sized bream by watching this method. And he was also getting some roughy too. Which honestly, I wouldn't mind getting either one. Since it's dark, we can't do a whole lot more than that. Can't see a whole lot more than that. Yep, we got him. I knew something was biting. What do we got here? A little roughy? Yep, see? That's what I'm talking about, guys. You can get them and you can get bream sometimes. 
it's real hard to see it because there's so little. Now the bream will be a little more noticeable, but what I try to do is bring it in now that I can see a little better. I'm going to try to get this a little bit closer to me, be it still in the hole. Maybe not. That's all right. Anyway, we're going to get back to doing some trolling here. Let's see if we can't get something a little bigger. Oh, and I might want to sit down too. Make sure you're sitting down. Always be seated before you start your boat. Okay. And always have a flotation device. Oh, wow. That didn't take long. See what I mean about this one? Didn't take long at all. Now, there's a nice chub. Surprised we didn't get something on that one too. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, we barely got barely got going. Now if the weather changes, so do the lures. And when that does happen, and it might, while we're out here, I will show you some of the ones that are really good for trolling Mosquito Lake. And it doesn't hurt guys at all to play around and try a few things. Experiment a little. Switch things off. If things aren't biting one thing, try something else. The ones I'm going to show you here are the ones that get me the most bites for the conditions. As you can see, right now I'm skirting the edge of the lake. I'm hoping I get... Well, well, there we go again. I thought I'd turn it off. You usually keep pretty busy. You might get a little bit of a lull around noon, but on a rainy day, mm, not so much. Sunny days maybe, but not rainy days. And definitely not with these lures. See what I mean, guys? Another chub. Now I know a lot of them are small right now, but that doesn't mean they're going to keep being small. It just means they're small at the moment. But I have done this and pulled some monster chubs out of here. Like I said, you are going to be busy. I think this one might have one on it. Yep, sure does. <laughs> I love this. I'm not catching monstrosities, but I'm definitely catching the fish. You will not be bored. That much I can promise you. Alright, let's see here, guys. Let's 
pull anchor and see if we can actually get this thing moving this time. But I did just this for about two of the in-game days and got over a hundred silver just just what doing what I'm doing here. So you just gotta be patient. Okay, you can go through this grass here. I've done it a couple of times. I haven't gotten any snags. But I did get a really large pike going through there. It might not hurt every now and then just to stop let things settle. Sometimes that will spark something's interest. Now we're going to pick up the pace a little bit, it looks like. What we're going to do is we're going to keep skirting the outer edge of this and then we're going to go down the center. And then we'll repeat. Anyway guys, it seems a little quiet now so I'll bring it back if anything happens. Alright guys, we're going to go down the center this time, and I think I might switch some baits this time, just to mix things up a little bit. So let me see here, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Well, that's been doing pretty good, it's caught quite a few. But, like I said, I like to mix things up a little bit. So I'm going to throw on here a little bit bigger lure. I'm going to throw this Hunter 1-001 on. This is 26 grams. This is an awesome one with the Winding Rivulet. So I thought maybe we'll give it another shot here. And for this one I think I might throw some type of funky minnow on there. I don't know if you know what a funky minnow is, but it's one of these right here. Now, if it was daylight, I would be using the blue one. The blue one's really, really good for that. But I think this time we're just going to use the red one. Ooh, and the sun's coming out, so that's going to change things. Are you kidding me? Ah, shoot. Somehow I got a snag. Alright. Damn snags. So actually, I think what I'm going to do is change it back to the blue one because honestly, that's the one I really want. Yeah, the weather just changed suddenly for some reason. So we are going to go back to the blue. Sometimes it will not select it. There we go. And be a lot more careful when we cast this. And for this one, I think we're going to leave it what it is. 
Alright, let's go ahead, pull that. Okay, this is going to change a few things. Now, if we go into our inventory here real quick, I'm going to show you some of the ones you might want to try on a sunny day like this. This is always good. The Vico is always good to use. But when it's sunny, you also are very well to use these red hypnotics. Either the 7 gram or the 20 grams. Those are awesome. And another one that's good to use are these Hunter 1-002s. These are perch colored, so they're definitely ones that the um, predator fish are going to go after. So, But the blue ones are always really good as well. And if you want to switch things up, you can even try some of these other uh, spinners. This Aquila 7 gram 002 works really well here too. And it looks like we have already got a little activity here off of this one. Now that's a nice perch, and it's probably the biggest one we've pulled out here so far. I tell you, there's been some records caught off of this particular funky minnow. This minnow is extremely popular with the fish. I think it's because it moves very erratic, so it looks like a fish that's kind of struggling. So it's very attractive for the fish. Especially the predator fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Whoa, Nettie, whoa. Whoa. We got us something fairly decent on this one. Yep, another good sized perch. It's been perch kind of a day, hasn't it? Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else on. So we'll keep on going.